I'm a what you call an agritourism farmer because I, most of the things I do, I let people come and pick their own strawberries, blackberries, and uh, pumpkins. Now I do grow tomatoes mainly for the farmer's market and wholesale tomatoes, but that's about the only thing I wholesale anymore is a few tomatoes. Been farming here ever since I was a youngin. Uh, back in the late 70s when I become of age, I started farming full time and then I went to work at the factory for 30 years and farmed on the side. People that uh, would buy the bass boats and go fishing, and I was one that was uh, buying farm machinery, and that was my hobby. And then when I no longer had a job, I had a job. <laughs> okay, that's about the size of it. I've got 30 acres here, and generally on the average year, 12 to 18,000 visitors. This a uh, pumpkin patch, including the uh, strawberries and blackberries. We'd probably go over 20,000 people a year we get to see in the fields. Basically, what happens, my berries, they usually carry the farm because I've got three employees pretty much year round, and uh, the early crops basically carry the farm, and the fall pumpkin crop is the one that carries me. We'll grow between uh, eight and 16 acres of pumpkins, and generally we figure at least 10,000 pumpkins a year, summer's in that range. A lot of them are called gourds, and some of them's called different varieties of pumpkins. Some of them's called squash. They're just a whole variety of winter product for you. You can, most of them you can eat, you know, and uh, now the next last two weeks before Halloween, it's a jack-o'-lantern time. You don't sell as many as the eating pumpkins and stuff because everybody's wanting to get theirs for the kiddies to cut them open to make jack-o'-lanterns out of. That there is a pyramid of hay that has what we call a bump slide on it. It's made out of PVC pipe, and when you come down it, you just about shake your teeth out of your head, and the kids just love it. We got a zip line out there, and that's where kids can zip line, and then we got the bounce pad right there. We got the good hay ride that we go on, my big hay wagon out there, the old cotton trailer. There ain't nothing I like any better, and you know, in this business, you gotta love it, or you wouldn't be in it. Best part of it is right now. It makes me feel like Santa Claus in October because I get to see so many little smiling faces out here getting pumpkins.